Hey lovelies, it's Heather here. I figure since I'm awake right now, I might as well go ahead and shoot a short video. Because <coughs> I was going to talk about it later, but I'm awake. And plus, I love when she does this. It's fucking adorable. <coughs> Hopefully she'll stay draped over my shoulder. But, uh, <laughs> I know it don't look too appealing, but still, it it's just so sweet. She's just a big old cuddle bug. But, um, anyways, <coughs> dang, I'm trying to clear my throat. My sinus has been running this morning. But, uh, anyways, hang on. So, last night I'm sitting here after I shoot like the little video that I posted last. And I'm sitting here, and I get a text message from the 19-year-old that uh, I tried to get help from whenever, like, I was trying to move. And I was like, dude, you know, will you help me? And he's like, you know, yeah, but nothing in life is for free. And I'm like, I'll pay you 20 bucks, you know. And he's like, no, he's like 35, you know, and I'm like, no, 20. And he's like, or we could sleep together. And I'm like, no. Nah. And he's like, or, you know, the money and we could sleep together. And I'm like, no, you know. And then he texts somebody like a week later, a few days later, and he's like, hey, man, I need 50 bucks. And it's like, dude, you would have had 20 if you just would have done the work, you know, and you would have only needed 30. But, um, anyways, so, like, I didn't block him. Like, yeah, you want to be a little bit of an asshole. You know, and you really upset me and hurt my villains or whatever because, like, I'm just a sensitive person that gets hurt very easily and shit. But I was like, yeah, whatever. And so, uh, I'm sitting here last night and he sends me this message and he's like, what's up? You know, and I'm like, nothing. And he's like, I'm bored and, uh, where do you live or how close do you live? You know, and I told him and he's like, can we cuddle, you know, or what was it he said, yeah, or who mentioned that first, let's see, how did he word it, he's like, can I come over, you know, and I'm like, I, I guess, but you can't expect anything of me, that's what I said, and then uh, uh, that's how we got into it, and I was like, I guess, but you can't expect anything of me, you know, and he's like, why, is there a specific reason, you know, and I'm like, no, Except for you're young and I'm looking for serious relationships. And then he's like, oh, well, can we cuddle? And I'm like, I guess, you know. I'm like, yeah, you know. Like, I mean, you're 19. I'm 30, you know. But it's like, I guess we can cuddle, whatever. And then he's like, well, will you do other things, you know. And I'm like, no. And he's like, will you at least touch me? And I'm like, no. And he blocked me. <laughs> And I'm just like, really? Oh, my God. Like, I was nice enough to not block you after you acted the way that you did. I was nice enough to talk to you afterwards. And then you're asking, like, you know, you're like, can we cuddle? And I'm like, I, yeah, you know, like, I mean, it ain't, go it ain't gonna harm me or hurt me, you know. Like, yeah, that's fine, you know. And, like, I like to cuddle obviously, you know, <laughs> God, she's sleeping so good, but, um, anyways, uh, so I'm like, yeah, you know, that's fine or whatever, and, uh, he's like, but I'll be so horny, you know, please, and all this and everything, I'm like, no, you know, and he blocked me, like, he blocked me for telling him no, like, Oh my God, this is the reason because he, I mean, on one hand, I want to be like really mad at him kind of, but then again, not because unfortunately the way that he's behaving is so normal. It doesn't matter if you're 19, 20, 35, 45, probably even 65. That's the way guys are. They want what they want, and if they can't get it, then they get mad about it. And it's like, can we get over that, you know? Can we get over it, you know? Like, I don't know. And so I'm not even, like, mad at him. I'm just like, really? You know, like, can, can you not 
try to, like, can you try to not be like that, you know, like, you're so young, can you try to be better than that, can you try to be different, you know, like, for your own sake, fuck me, you know, like, not literally, but, you know, like, you know, forget this, or whatever, but be better for society, for yourself, you know, for the little boys that are being born right now, the little children, you know, like, your legacy, you know, who you are as a man, you're coming up as a man, dude, like, you're 19, you know, you're fixing to be defined as a man, and is that the reputation that you want for yourself, the same reputation that people have had for at least 45, 50, no, 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 probably about 60 years, that guys have just been like this, you know, people that are a little bit older have at least had a better a slightly better reputation, I believe, as far as men and shit, but, like, nah, it's, like, because my dad, he's, like, in his 50s, and so, literally, people that are, like, in their 60s and down, like, y'all's reputation's all the same, you want sex, you don't get it, you get mad about it, end of subject, like, can you not want sex that fucking bad? You know, can can you um, have patience? You know, can you um, fight temptation? You know, can, can you give up on the very thing that you want and still survive and not hold a grudge? Like, I mean, look at me, look at my life. Here I am. I'm 30 years old. My parents have taken temporary custody of my kid. My marriage fell apart after two years. That shit fucking devastated the hell out of me. I mean, broke my heart. And even though I'm mad at my parents, but I'm mad at my parents not just for that, for a whole bunch of other shit. And even though I'm irritated with my daughter, I'm not mad at her. I haven't blocked her. You know, like, it is what it is. And yeah, I'm not getting any of my dreams coming true, you know. So, and I'm still alive. And I'm still nice to people, and I'm still civil, and I'm still kind, you know? And it's like, dudes, wake the fuck up, you know? Stop acting like brats. Stop getting your feelings hurt so simply, you know? Suck it up. Get over it, you know? And then, if you really want to be, like, in that boat of, no, I want what I want, and I'm going to get it. And if I don't get it, then I'm going to act like an asshole, then don't be mad when a woman acts like that. Simply put, you know, women want what they want too. And if they don't get it, then don't deny them, you know, their right of equal, you know, treatment to be able to act like an asshole when they don't get what they want. Because women want relationships. Women want children. Women want families. Women want all that. Women want to be stay-at-home moms that are kept to a degree. I mean, not all of us 100%, because I ain't going to fucking lie. I love working. I really do. I love having my own money. I actually miss that I'm out of work right now. I actually hate that I had to quit my last job, but the hours weren't enough, and... Whenever they're like, oh, you're getting off at this time, and then I'm getting off two and a half hours later, you know, and it's like, is it always going to be like this? And then it's like, no, one night you'll be an hour late. Another night you'll be two and a half hours late, you know. Another night you'll be 30 minutes late, you know. And it's like I'm needing a ride, you know, home and shit. And so it wouldn't be that too much of a big deal but then again it would because if I had my kid back and like that shit was going on and it's like hey I'll be at home tonight to tuck you in and promising my kid that and then not being able to be home at night to tuck her in like you know and, and even having pets you know oh okay I get off at you know eight o'clock let's say 
you know. Okay, I'll be home at night, you know, at 10 every night, you know, and that's enough time for me to get home and shit. And <clears throat> that's enough time for me to get relaxed. And if something happens, you know, like say it takes me longer to get home because there was a wreck on the interstate or some shit like that. And then it's like, oh, but I can walk my dogs at 10 every night, you know. And then it's like, oh, you're supposed to get off at 8, but guess what? You're not getting off till 10.30. And then it's like, okay, can't have a schedule for my dogs to even go to the bathroom, you know? And it's like, people don't, I don't know. It's like, I mean, that's even like men, the way that they're acting. You know, they demand respect, you know, and the respect is have sex with them when they want you to. Um, No. You know, like, no, uh, or okay, if that's going to be the case, then, you know, do all the shit that I want you to, and sorry that, you know, my list is so, you know, in detail, if you will, because I'm a woman, and so you want to throw off on that, because I'm sitting here, I want a man that works, that's the main provider, you know, or that is the provider, that way, if I don't feel like working, like, say, my boss is like just an asshole you know say I get a job and I have a job and I push through it for three to six months but after that I'm like you know what and I just have my feel of it and I quit you know I want to know that my man can support me you know or my significant other can support me at least for three months until I can find another job again you know I don't want to be reliant upon my income you know not unless I am choosing to take that part on, which with EJ, I kind of was. But anyways, that's a different story. But, uh, so anyways, it's like, and, and there's times, you know, that it flips. There's times that the role flips, you know, and it's like, hey, you know, he's out of work because, you know, he was in a car wreck, you know, and so it's falling all on you, mama, you know, and how are you going to make it work? you know, and shit like that, but anyways, it's like, so, excuse me, you know, if I sit here, and I want, you know, a man that is going to be the main provider, <clears throat> that's going to be a father to the children that we have, you know, that's not going to cheat on me, you know, and that, that's pretty much the top basics, you know, and get married to me, and yet, Guys want to sit there and be like, man, all I want is sex. No, you want blowjobs. You want hand jobs. You want me to watch porn with you. You know, you want anal. You know, you want regular sex. You want, you want it all. You know, like, don't, don't just sit there and play. I, I've done been around enough men, and I've only been, I've only been with two. I've done been around enough men to know how y'all are. Y'all want everything. Like, like, literally, if it was a rainbow, if it was, like, fucking Skittles, you would want every flavor. Like, literally. Like, I wouldn't even put it past, like, in secrecy, if, if the woman could hide it, you know, that you would even bring another man into the room. You know, whether it be just to sleep with your woman, or to sleep just with you, you know, in the process, or to sleep with both of y'all. Like, y'all, y'all are bad. You know, y'all want it all. Like... I wish to God there was a guy out there that just wanted regular, basic sex. And even though there may be some out there, where the fuck they're at, they're probably done married and shit. Like, but where the fuck they're at, I have no idea. And the majority of women have no idea. And the majority of women would actually fucking adore that. Because we're not all about sex. Like, we like it, we enjoy it to a degree, but then there's parts of it that are degrading, and aw, aw, I don't know what to say to that, that makes me sad, like Jen's feeling bad about herself, way to go you little douchebag, but anyways, <sighs> I don't 
to get up this early. I can always lay back now, though. But, uh, since I'm up, I was going to take a bath last night, but I decided to wait till I woke up. Mm. But, any fucking ways, it's like, women want relationships. There's not a woman alive that doesn't want a relationship, that doesn't want a marriage. My grandmother as old as she is, and the fact that she's done had two husbands, the only reason she doesn't want a third husband is because y'all are so into sex and cheating and lying and manipulating and drama and all that. Y'all is, oh my God, y'all love the drama. As long as the drama revolves around sex and the topic of sex, whether it's cheating or not or whatever, like, you know, Y'all y'all just love to stir the shit pot, you know. And the saying is those who love to stir the shit pots just have to lick the spoon, you know, and everything. But I guarantee you, if some guy came up to my grandmother right now, you know, somebody her age, you know, or around her age, you know, somebody came up to her right now and was like, Hey, you know, I wanna marry you and take care of you. You know, and they could prove that. They could prove that to her and prove that they don't just want her to take care of them you know and that's another thing too is like bless her heart you know her last husband and everything like he got sick kind of quick you know and I mean at that age you know and everything what do you kind of expect but then again I, I know she expected him to live longer than what he did but he ended up having cancer and he actually had it like before he got with her I believe and so he didn't tell her and um it's like, I know it has to be hard on her to lose two husbands, you know. But, um, it's like, fucking hell. It's like, if somebody came along and treated her right or whatever, you gonna tell me she wouldn't jump at the opportunity of it? She would. But ain't nobody gonna treat her right, because all y'all give a shit about is y'all's damn dicks and getting them wet. <laughs> is the best way to word it and I say that because of an argument that happened between some people and that's what they were saying and I was just like dying laughing I was like oh my god you're horrible or, um, like like legit like when do y'all care about relationships when do, when do you care more about you know the actual um, stability of it all versus the stability of if you can get it up, I guess, you know, like, <sighs> and this is the reason there's going to be a lot more lesbians in the future, and then y'all are going to be bitter little bitches about it, oh, y'all going to be so mad, y'all going to be so mad, because y'all keep pushing, <sighs> and granted, y'all ain't pushing people, you know, with a fucking loaded gun and shit, but you might as well be because it's your loaded dick that's full of shit, basically. Because your cum don't even mean anything to you. Having kids don't mean shit to you. You've done proven that. Oh my God, have you proven that having kids don't mean a damn thing to you? You know, it's just like, whoops, accident, you know. And it's like, well, even with my dad's generation, well, I guess I'll help take care of them. I mean, they're mine. I guess. I reckon. You guess? You you reckon? You you reckon you'll take care of it? Like, okay, you know. And and I, I just, man, I fucking can't. Because I have more fucking respect for my damn dogs and cats than that. Like, I sit here all the time because my kid's not home. And the reason I got pets was for my kid. Believe me, I knew pets was a responsibility. I know that they're hard to take care of. I know that they make messes. I know that they stink and they need baths and they drool and they piss and they shit and they vomit and they got to have a certain amount of shots and all this and everything else. I know. I've done been there, lived that, done that. But my kid wanted pets, so I got my kid pets. And so fucking here I am, like, sitting here, and I'm like, my life would be easier, I'm not going to lie, without these pets. It would. But 
they're my pets. I took on the responsibility of them. I went to a store and picked out one and said, yep, I went to, you know, I picked out, you know, out of two kittens and I let my kid pick out of the cats though. And she's like, yep. And I'm like, okay. And then even the puppies, I'll let her pick out of the puppies. And she's like, yep. And I'm like, okay. And then Tiger and then even Bonza. Oh my God. I fucking hate that. I couldn't find him while I was down there. I need to ask Jen if she'll go look for him occasionally. Watch. I don't know if he would, well, I mean, he would, he, he, that's the thing is like, he's so nice. Like he would literally go to anybody. I think somebody's took him in and that really pisses me off because you're going to take in my dog and then not even let me know. And I'm sitting here worrying about my baby and thinking that he's dead, you know, like it's fucked up. It's like a runaway child, you know, it's like, no, let, let me know that they're alive, please. You know? That he hasn't, like, froze to death somewhere, you know? And apparently he hasn't because supposedly if people are telling the truth, then they've seen him recently. And he's been missing since September. <sighs> but anyways, like, where where's the integrity, guys? Where is it, you know? Where, where is it at? You know, the integrity, the... I don't know. Like, where's your honor? Where is it? It's not in your brain. It's not in your dick. I mean, where where is it? Does it exist anymore? Do you have any anymore? And then you want to be like, women stripped it from us. How did we strip it from you? How did we take that from you? How did we strip you of your morals? You know? Like, legit. Like, I'm pretty sure that it probably wasn't a woman that spread her legs and was like, go down on me, you know, at the very first beginning of people going down on each other and giving oral sex to each other. Pretty sure it was probably a guy that was like, hey, you know, put this in your mouth. You get what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, and then uh, the whole defense of, oh, well, in nature and stuff like that. Okay, well, in nature... What about the couples that pair for life? You can read about all different types of, you know, birds and animals that they mate for life. And that they're there. And that they help with their children in some way or another. Or even if they don't help with their kids, you know, their offspring, you know. They're still there. They're still that permanent mate for that person. Animals are better than y'all. Like Jesus fucking Christ. Like I sit here sometimes and I get tickled at my dog Una because the way that she still takes care of her puppy Clarabelle. She still cleans her. She still cleans her face and all kinds. Like she, she literally like this dog is white and black on one side. You know, and so this white side, you know, it gets the stains, you know, if you've ever had dogs that are white or of light color, they get tear stains and stuff like that. This dog has never had a tear stain because her mama cleans her eye. She don't even have stains around her lip like you figure she would because she's white down here, you know, too, because her mom cleans around her mouth. Her mom is such a mother to her. She's a doting mother, you know, she's very attentive to her puppy you know and that's the way me and my kid are you know and like I get tickled about it because and then and then Clarabelle even gets mad gets mad at her mom growls at her sometimes whenever she's like licking her face and stuff like mom stop it you know and it reminds me of uh the Lion King whenever uh uh Sarabi picks up Simba you know and she's like licking him or whatever and he's like you know mom you're messing up my mane or something like that, you know, and that frustration of, you know, I want my independence, you know, but that doting, caring, you know, parent, you know, that even though the caring might be suffocating, it's still caring versus not caring, which is what my parents did, you know, I'm like sitting there and I'm like, hey, you know, I need some attention over here, you know, do you notice me, do you see me, look at what I did, and it's like, uh, yeah, that's nice, now shut up. You know, like, but anyways, like, I don't know. 
I didn't mean to make this video this fucking long, but like, guys, I don't get it. And like, dude, 19, you know, if you see this, like, seriously, honey, please be more. That's all I can ask of you. You want me to ask something of you? And it uh, might be why you're pestering me a little. Because, I mean, like, legitimately, like, I wrote you to ask for your help personally. Because I had our mutual person ask for your help. And <laughs> she said you didn't respond. And so I'm just like... Let me try, because maybe he feels that I should be, like, more, you know, like, or maybe he doesn't believe, you know, that I'm actually, you know, like, I believe in him enough, you know, to be like, hey, son, can you help me, you know, like, you look like a strapping young lad, you know, <laughs> like, you know, you look like you can lift some heavy furniture, you want to help a girl out, and dude wants to be like, no, you know, unless we have sex. And I'm just like, fuck you, you know? And then it's like, and I'm even willing to pay you. Like, really? Like, I'm not sitting here asking for free, you know? Like, I'm willing to pay you for your time, you know? And I was going to pick you up and drop you back off. Like, gas money, you know? Like, and where you live, you know? And it's like, no, no, that wasn't good enough for you, you know? So, okay, it wasn't good enough for you. And then you sit here and you're like, hey, you know, I'm bored. Okay, well, that sounds like a personal problem, sweetheart, you know? And then I'm bored and, well, can we at least cuddle? Yeah, I love to cuddle. I'll cuddle with anybody for the most part. I mean, as long as you don't come up looking like a goddamn Yeti or some shit, you know, or smelling like a fucking, I don't know what, you know, like a pile of damn doo-doo, you know, or whatever. And as long as you're not going to be like, yeah, I cuddled with her and that means that she's in love with me, you know, and shit like that. I'll cuddle the hell out of people to a degree if I'm in the mood, if I feel like it, or if it's just like nonchalant, like, eh, whatever, you know, and I'm indifferent, you know, which I was last night. I was like, well, he's bored. He's willing to cuddle. Hell yeah. Why not? And here we are. Like, you didn't, you know, because you're not wanting to cuddle. You're wanting sex. <sighs> like, son, you know, like, no, not happening, you know. Like, are you planning on marrying me? You're 19. I'm 30. I have a 12-year-old kid. Are Are you willing to be a stepfatherish figure to a 12-year-old girl? Are you willing to look at my daughter and not think that she's cute? You know, like in an attractive, like, ooh, kind of sexy way whenever she gets a few years older. You know, like, no, you know. Like, but I can keep the friend line, you know. So if you would have came over and you would have cuddled and then I would have got custody of my daughter back and you still would have been my cuddle buddy, if you will, on rare occasions. But still, occasionally, as long as I'm not dating somebody, you know, and whatever your business, but, and my kid would have been like, who's this? And I would have been like, a friend, that's the end of it. Somebody I cuddle with, you know, nobody you need to, like, my kid would have damn, like, she would have got that. She would have been like, oh, okay, a friend, you know, like, legit. Like, my kid wouldn't have been like, oh, mom, you know, you really need to, you know, she wouldn't have pushed because the age difference. Because she don't want, you know, that unless, like, somebody's going to step up and be like, hey, I'm going to be your stepdad, you know? And my kid done fucking tried, like, that shit with her actual stepdad, the dude that married me. And <laughs> just say integrity and all that just flew out the fucking window, you know, and went bye-bye. And I didn't fucking do it. I didn't break my kid's heart in that aspect. He did. Just like her own dad did to her. And baby girl, if you watch this, I'm sorry that your life has not been perfect. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. But I've done the best that I can. And you'll grow up and you'll see how men are. Hopefully not until you're like in your mid-twenties. Will you realize how 
shitty they are. And hopefully it'll be because you're in a serious relationship and you've been in a serious relationship and you have a good guy, but you see your friends suffering time and time and time again and calling you with their problems. And I'm not wishing that on your friends, but I'm wishing positive for you. And I hope like hell that somebody treats my baby girl right. And then if somebody doesn't, mama not afraid to take a baseball back to somebody's ass if she needs to. Legit. But anyways, like, guys, y'all need to step up y'all's game. Like, I guess is the best way to word it. And then really not even that because it's not a game. It's not a game. Y'all need to take the same intense seriousness that you have where you're like, no, man, I seriously want my dick sucked. You know, no, man, I seriously want to try this. No, man, I seriously want to fuck right now. That same seriousness needs to be applied outside of your sexual desires. Whenever a woman is telling you her desires of wanting a family, of wanting children, of wanting a home, of wanting a man that provides, you need to understand the seriousness of that. I don't know how else to express it or get it through your fucking skull, but legit, you need to understand the seriousness of it. Like, it's getting old and it's sickening and it's nauseating. And then whenever we all turn to where we're pretty much gay, which I think we're kind of, you know, it's like, well, be alone forever or find a woman to love. And while I'm not saying that, you know, like, EJ, if you watch this, don't think that I'm just like, hey, can't find a guy. Might as well move on to a woman. No, because if that's the case, then I would date Jen because Jen likes me. And even though and, and she's she's pushed so much, there's a little piece of me that's like, because she really, really likes me. And it's really, really nice. I ain't going to lie. It's really, really nice. My heart ain't in it. I can't appreciate her if I were to date her. I mean, I would have to work really hard to appreciate her to the level that I would I would be okay with myself. <clears throat> and even though she's like, go for it, you know, to a degree, because I wouldn't mind what you, right now she's not, though, I don't think, because she's, she's actually got somebody right now, so I'm proud of her for that, I'm like, hell yeah, you know, you got you somebody, girl, you know, like, that's my girl, <laughs> but, uh, anyways, Everything has to be so complicated because people make it so complicated. But men especially make things complicated when it comes to sexual relations. And they want to act like they don't, but they do. Oh, honey, do they? <sighs> but anyways, I'm going to end this video. I hope everybody's doing good. Keep putting your best foot forward. I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to label this. I really was not intending this to be this long, and I need to reply to Jen because she probably thinks I'm being like an ass, and I hope she ain't crying. But, um, so Jen, if you see this, I, I wasn't ignoring you, sweetheart. Like, I just, I get, I, you know, you know me. I get on my track on my own shit, and I'm like fucking blind. It's like fucking putting blinders on a goddamn horse, you know, and it's like, this is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but, uh, anyways. So I'm going to let you go. I hope everybody's doing good. You know, I'll catch you later. Bye.